Hello, hello, hello. This is Zeta Rose. And, well, Spesh took me a while to figure out what to play next. And also, just kind of recovering from going to Silicon Valley Comic Con. That was a lot of fun, but oh boy, is that a lot of writing too. So, I'm obviously playing an old 8 bit game. It doesn't really look familiar. It has this wonderful thing called a save system. It also gives me a in-game save, pause and push, select A, B. Now, this is something I can only really play on my computer or like a Raspberry Pi, something that's been configured to actually run old games. So, now I start the game and plainly, there's a reveal here. And that there. Oh. This. This is a Metroid game, but not your typical one. Now, as you just saw, this is Metroid Rogue Dawn. It is a hack for the original Metroid. Yeah. I am using a Super Nintendo emulator to play this. Now, with, uh, the... Ooh, huh. forgot that I got the ball so quick, in all honesty. Okay, and those letters are just show. Come on. Hmm. Missiles. Oh, right. Like any Metroid game, I tend to, uh one or two things, namely print out a map if at all possible, just because it makes, makes my life so much easier. I have an idea of where I'm going then. And Metroid games, I love them to death. I have played most of them. I gotta say most, because I know that there are still some I've yet to touch on. There's a lot in this series. Let's see, sick bay. Probably if I. Okay. So to do that patching, I want to roll and drop into it. Okay, so I've got an idea of where I'm going and what I'm doing. But step one is always poke around, learn just a bit about what the heck I'm doing. I'll also you know, give you a chance to read this and notice. Locate the ship and seal the Metroid specimen before the Federation fleet arrives. Huh. This is an alternate take on the events of Metroid, in all honesty. Alright. Hmm. And then this leads to... Well, two very different areas. No, let's head the way of two first. Wow. I might need to futz about with some of these settings, because this is not really doing the things I want it to do. Oh! She's wearing a suit now. That's new. You know... See, I have a previous version of this, uh... Well, there's no simple way to put it beyond hack. Because, well... Oh. I thought that would be inconspicuous and not that bad. Oh boy, was I wrong. Oh. Okay. So. Samus now dons a suit. I was not expecting that. Wait. Crap. <laughs> oh god, within the first ten minutes I'm gonna die. Okay. And boom. Continue. Alright, respawn where it was. Hmm. I am looking at a map just because it makes my life a 
heck of a lot easier so I have an idea where I'm going and what I'm doing. Oh. Okay. So can't shoot down. If I want to do anything to things below me, I need the bombs. Now, I will admit the map I have is really, really basic. And I'm just going back the way I went. But, to my knowledge of the series, this will take me somewhere useful. Okay, so those were health restores. I just did something wrong and didn't register for them proper. Wow, I'm taking so much just environmental damage. I'm not used to that. Oh, wow, I had a lot of pop on that, which I really did not expect. I'm very much taking advantage of the fact I am on an emulator and thus I'm programming rapid fire. It's really useful. Used for me. Alright, I see a thing. Huh, just like any good Metroid game, there's plenty to explore and just poke around into. There's a lot to find. Okay. Huh. So this does not make any marks. In game, about like what I've done and where to find things. Okay. Nope. No, that is solid. I don't have the. Uh, yeah, and right now I do not have morph bombs, so I can't use them, which means the only way I'm getting back is the way I came. Actually. Hmm, that is something I need to check. Think about it. Because there's an absurdly useful trick. Nope, not here. In the original Metroid. So, in Metroid, if you roll off a ledge, has Morph Ball, hit up, you can uh, pull off a mid-air jump. This is a really useful skill. Overall. Oh, wow. There's enough going on my, uh... Well, then again, it's still... The architecture is still based off a Nintendo game. There are limits to what can be done. <laughs> no one's gonna stop me from farming this location. the little thing in there. That stops him from showing up until I've at least collected the power up, which is nice. Alright. Ouch. Those things are painful. Okay, I found something, but it's not leading anywhere. At least right now. Oh, that was the bottom of a shift. Alright, Geronimo. The bouncing thing. Head this way. So, some of the bullcraps that are around. Okay, for me to do anything in full about that, I need the ice beam. I don't need to blow it up with missiles. Ooh. Going somewhere. 
I have no idea where that somewhere is at present. But it's leading to something at the very least. Wait. Music change? I think I've actually moved into a new area. If, uh, I'm reading my map right, I'm in the, uh, underground cavern. Gives me a bag, you know. Wow, that took a lot of ammo. So... Wait. Is something I can interact with somehow? You'd think, but no. Whatever's going on there, I can't do anything about it right now. So all I can do is, uh... And follow whatever path is in front of me. I also feel like I'm starting stronger than traditionally in Metroid. Oh, oh man, is this thing gorgeous? Is there a... Alright, that does that. That gives me getting start. Huh. Yeah, heading start actually goes a long way for me to gain some orientation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm in the underwater cavern. Ah! Okay, now I have some bearings. I've technically gone the wrong way. Oh, no, there are multiple paths. Probably wanted to go uh, this way. Wait. No, that's all solid. So, I do want to go this way. Double height boost and through. I'm not gonna trust those very far. Played enough video games. I have a vague idea of what I can. And cannot trust without much mental effort, in all honesty. Wait. Wait. There's a path. I can see a path, which I know, at least I'm fairly certain, will lead to some more missiles. And in Metroid, there are two things you're always looking for. Health upgrades and missiles. Yeah, huh. It's right there in front of me. And I overlooked it. No, I found a place to get missile upgrade. I'm gonna take that. This is plainly set up so I'm not using, like, some of the more advanced abilities. I thought it'd simply lead there. Oh. There's another missile upgrade that I completely overlooked. <sighs> surprise, surprise. Well, I was right to suspect those bitey things. That they could hurt me. Because I just got hurt by them. Okay. So... Alright, I'm in this L bend. That's handy. There we go. Okay, I think... This might just be, uh... Innocent, but you know, they're not going to try and hurt me now. Still, probably don't want to touch them in all honesty. Let's see. That leads me here, which is back to where I was. 
Well, at least this game's still very much letting me explore the world. And there's almost always a lot to see in one of these games. Plus, I find different paths. That's part of the appeal in this, these games. You need a chance to see what's there, learn what's around. And of course, deal with that sinking suspicion you took the wrong path. Like, uh, I just did. Jump over, gotta backtrack, because guess what? FM or missiles. Like I said, the two things I'm always looking for missile tanks and energy tanks. This does call for some nice jumping, I will say that. I think this just opens up the path. I think it's actually going to take me there directly. Because I don't quite see me making that jump. Yeah, I think I need to go up to a degree. Hey, go right? What's right? Ah. That leads me here. Yeah, I think I need bombs for that for once. Okay. Yeah, those just seem set dressing. I don't think I've been in this big old chamber. Yeah, big old dead end chamber. Huh? Not underestimate is in these chambers, especially if there's platforming to be had. What is this way? Screen transition. Ooh, that was not good for my health. Those are missiles. So we start with the Maru Maru. Oh, or Maru Mari. Got missiles within not even the first five minutes. Oh, I think I finally touched one of those fish, and yeah, as suspected, I did not want to touch them. They are not healthy for me. They are, in fact, damaging. So, I should regard them as a stationary hazard. Alright. On track. Okay, so I can't destroy everything. No real loss. Okay. This leads to those missiles I saw. That is not atypical for a game like this. Big, huge bout of exploration leading to one simple thing. Oh. That's all this section leads to. Because I can destroy that. go that way. That is a one-way path, so I gotta go up. Well, I live. I already have one death. Can't even say I'm really that surprised. Store to full jump height. Okay, yeah, it does not take long. Let's say that. 
all patched up. Hard part is I have no freaking clue where to go and what to do. Yeah, I can see like where I am. Uh, I need to find an alternate path, it seems. So, yeah, I'll get there at some point. It's just a question of how. If anything, how. Hmm, I usually get stuck one way. Especially in a game like this. You get stuck on one side, all you have to do is head to the other. So. I found my way here once. So. Let's get clear and make my way up back out to reach There's some health. Yeah. Up and out. If it po if at all possible. Very, very possible. It's a smidge tricky. So I know, don't go in the purple water. That purple water is bad. Yeah, I was originally planning to keep this to a shorter first session, but it's going pretty well, so... Minor extension. Besides, I alluded to things, I haven't talked about things. So, yeah, Silicon Valley Comic Con. Went there, had a wonderful time. I have so many notes to convert from, well, notes into articles. That's how... That's the process, let me tell you. Start with one thing. Ooh. I think I've, uh... Yeah, not much I can do there. Go upwards a bit more here. God dang. I... Hmm. We'll need to figure this out. Now, this is a very real chance of getting me. You know what? thought it said... Well, I'll figure that out in a moment. You know what? I embrace what must be done. There we go. Pause. Oh, pause and push select A, B. At any rate, this has been Zyda Rose for Game Shampoo. I certainly hope you've enjoyed the first beginning of uh, Metroid Zero Dawn. This is a really different fan hack, and it's just as extensive a world. So, I'll see you next time, everyone. Take care.